the dot operator is a, a MATLAB command that tells MATLAB to shut off its uh, built-in tendency to want to do matrix algebra. So remember that MATLAB was originally designed as a uh, as a matrix operation program. All this other computer programming stuff that's built into it was added later uh, because it's super useful when doing matrix algebra. And then it turns out that's also super useful for everything else. So um, MATLAB kind of expanded from being just a matrix operation program to being a full on uh, scripting language. which is good for us. So we can use it for all the stuff we're trying to learn here. But everything MATLAB does, it kind of looks back to its, its, um, its roots as a matrix solving program. So if you want it to do certain things without doing matrix algebra, you have to explicitly tell it to do so. So that's what the dot operator is for. So let's do a little example here. Okay, so let's say we want to do a times b. So that's going to be a times b. Now, if you punch this into MATLAB exactly like that, you're going to get an answer that looks like this. A, to a b equals 42, 28, 90, and 68. This is if you are doing... Uh, proper matrix multiplication, multiplying matrix A by matrix B, this is what you'd get. Now, let's say what you actually want is you just want to multiply 2 times 3 and 4 times 6 and 6 times 9 and 8 times 4. <clears throat> so let's say, let's give some units here. Let's, let's make this uh, something kind of physical. So let's say we're uh, looking at something electrical, and we know that if you multiply the amps times the volts, you get the watts. And so we have four different things, each with its own uh, current and voltage, and we want to multiply them together to see what the wattage is for each of these, what the power is on each. So we want to get watts. So our watts is going to be um, A times B. But if we do just A times B, we're going to end up with this. And that is not the answer we're looking for. We want to have wattages for each of these four positions instead of multiplying matrices together. So that's where the dot operator comes in. So we want to tell MATLAB, don't do matrix math. Don't do matrix multiplication. Instead, I want you to do what is called uh, element-wise multiplication, which means we're just going to take 2 and multiply it by 3. Then we're going to take 4, multiply it by 6. And then we're going to take 6, multiply it by 9. And then we're going to take 8 and multiply it by 4. That's what we want to do. So the dot operator says do that instead of the matrix multiplication. So what we end up with when we do that is this. We get 6, 24, uh, 54, and 32. And that's all going to be in watts. Okay, so the dot operator, it's particularly important when you have square matrices like this, because you have two separate uh, multiplications, both of which are going to work correctly. MATLAB is not going to argue. If you do A times V, MATLAB will see that that is a perfectly valid uh, 
matrix operation and it will do it. And it'll give you this answer. If you're not paying attention, you may think, okay, these are your wattages. <clears throat> Where in reality, if you use the dot operator, you get a completely different answer. And uh, then, you know, depending on what kind of physical physical problem you're trying to solve, this could be problematic. If you're expecting these kind of wattages on the left, but you're only getting these, you know, there's a good chance uh, something could go wrong with whatever you're designing. So it's important to pay attention to your dot operator in these cases. Some other cases where the dot operator or MATLAB won't work without it might be something like this. So let's say we have a matrix called H. and a matrix called R. These are both vectors. If you try to multiply these together with just H times R, that's not gonna work for matrix multiplication because these, uh, these two vectors are not compatible for being multiplied together. But what we wanna do in any way is multiply two times seven 3 times 1, 4 times 5, and 7 times 9. So in this case, we have to tell MATLAB that that's what we want to do. So to do it, we use the dot operator. Now it knows that you're trying to do element-wise multiplication. <clears throat> so let's jump back over to the MATLAB screen, and we'll, set, we'll do these as an example. I'm just going to be doing this in the command window. These You can do anything that we're doing in the command window here. You could do as a script as well. Okay. So first we'll do the, the A and the V that we had before. So our A, our amps, is equal to uh, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And our voltage was 3, 6, 9, and 4. There's our A, there's our V. Now if you do A times V, without the, without the dot operator, we get 42, 28, 90, and 68. If we do use the dot operator for A times V, we get a different set of answers. Okay, let's say we use our vectors here. So we have our H vector, which was uh, 2, 3, 4, and 7. Then we have our R vector, which was uh, 7, 1, 5, and 9. If I punch those guys in, you can see they showed up in the workspace. I'm not going to print them on the screen. Now, if we try to do H times V, sorry, H times R, we hit enter, we're going to get an error message. The error message is going to say uh, incorrect dimensions for matrix multiplication. Okay, so that's telling us that we just tried to do matrix multiplication and it didn't work. And the reason is because we have incompatible dimensions of our two matrices that we tried to use. So it says check that the number of columns in the first matrix matches the number of rows in the second matrix. So if you did not know how to do matrix multiplication by hand, MATLAB just gave you a hint about how to do that, or at least how you need to set it up. So that's pretty cool. It's rare that MATLAB gives you such a... Uh, such an error message that you can actually figure something out from it. Typically, it just tells you there's an error and tells you where to find it. The last one here says, to perform element-wise multiplication, use dot star. So it's telling you right there, use the dot operator. So that's what we're going to do. So if we do h dot times r instead of just h times r, now we're going to get an answer. Now it's going to do 2 times 7, which is 14, 3 times 1, 4 times 5, and 7 times 9. So it's going to give us the answer we were actually looking for. So the dot operator here makes a huge difference. So with our A and V up here, it made a big difference. It gave us two different answers based on whether or not we use the dot operator. 
with our vectors here, it would not multiply them without the dot operator because for matrix algebra, that's an illegal technique or, you know, a technique that isn't going to work. So here's another one. This is the one I already showed you uh, with x squared earlier. You want to do h squared. You take h power of 2. So h squared, we're going to get that same error message for, uh, for a similar error message, incorrect dimensions for raising a matrix to a power. Uh, in order to raise a matrix to a power, it's got to be a square matrix and the scalar power. That is, if you want to raise a matrix to a power doing matrix multiplication. But in this case, we don't. We're just trying to raise each of those numbers to a power. We want 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, and 7 squared. So again, use the dot operator before the power sign. And now we get all those numbers squared. So going back to our A and V, just a reminder, here's what A looks like, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Now we can square that oops, without the dot operator, and we end up with numbers like this. But if we square it with the dot operator instead, well, then we get a different set of numbers. So with square matrices, you have to be particularly careful with your dot operators because a square matrix will often work without the dot operator, but it'll give you a different answer than it will with the dot operator. Um, with vectors, your vectors are a little safer because MATLAB won't give you a wrong answer. It'll give you an error. And at least for me, I prefer to get an error message than a wrong answer because I might miss that MATLAB gave me a completely wrong answer and, you know, go and, you know, build a lunar, a lunar, uh, or build a Mars lander that crashes into Mars because I used the wrong answer. I'm not actually doing that, but um, an error message tells me I have something I need to fix. A wrong answer can slip by without getting caught. The reason I bring up the Mars thing, that, uh, several years ago, uh, we sent a lander to Mars, and part of the calculation for the uh, um, the landing trajectory was in metric and part of it was in English units and somebody forgot to make a conversion and ended up crashing the thing into Mars. So they went all the way through the entire process of designing, building, launching, and sending it to Mars and then it crashed into Mars because somebody forgot to do a unit conversion between metric and, and uh, English units. So you know, if you find yourself making a dumb mistake in your MATLAB code, the consequences are pretty low. But remember that people still make huge mistakes or even tiny little mistakes and end up being huge mistakes in the professional world. So, you know, don't feel too bad if your MATLAB code doesn't work. But I'm trying to point out ways that you can um, keep an eye on things. So places where you need to be careful so you don't make, you know, billion dollar mistakes later on in life. Everything's a life lesson. Okay, so just like, like here, we did H times R. If we did not have our dot operator, this would be trying to do matrix math, which doesn't work with two vectors. So the dot operator allows us instead to multiply element-wise. So two times seven, three times one, four times five, seven times nine. Now, if we're using an exponent, let's say what I want to do is h squared. So let's say I want h squared. Now, if I wrote that out, so what I, what I want to find here when I do h squared, my answer I want to be 4, 9, 16, and 49. But if I punch h squared in the MATLAB like that, it's going to give me an error message. So what MATLAB is going to try to do is it's going to try to take 
H and multiply it by H. Now remember, H is a vector, so H times H isn't going to work like that. It's incompatible for, the, for matrix multiplication. So in order to actually make it work, we have to use the dot operator. So if we want to do H times H like this, we'd use a dot operator. Now we do uh, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 7 times 7 to get the correct answer. So we shorthand that a little bit by uh, doing oops, h dot raised to the 2 power. And that's our h squared. OK. So here's when you use the dot operator. The dot operator, you don't really need it for uh, addition or subtraction or anything. The places where you want to use the dot operator are when you are doing an operation on two arrays. So if you wanted to do H times R, you'd have to use a dot operator. If you want to do you want to do h divided by r, you'd have to use the dot operator. In fact, division in matrices is problematic. So anytime you're trying to divide two arrays, you're probably not trying to do matrix algebra anyway. So you want to make sure that you tell MATLAB that you're not doing matrix algebra and have it use the dot operator. So you use it for raising the powers as well. So we could do that. We could have uh, 2 to the 7th, 3 to the 1st power, 4 to the 5th, and 7 to the 9th if we raised, did h raised to the r power. Totally OK to do that. And then, of course, for squaring or cubes or whatever. Because remember that h squared is really just h times h, and h cubed really just h times h times h. So unless you're explicitly trying to do matrix algebra, it's a good idea to use your dot operator for any of these operations, subtract, divide, and power. When you're doing it, H and R or whatever, whatever you've named these, these are both going to be arrays. So it's not going to be one array, one scalar, or anything like that. H and R are going to be arrays for both of them. And then the rule for all this. H and R must be the same size. The reason that's important is because if you're trying to do the element, the elements of H times the elements of R, it's 2 times 7, 3 times 1, 4 times 5, 7 times 9. If one of these arrays happens to have an additional value in it, what are you going to multiply 8 by when you're doing h times r? There's nothing. So in order to keep everything straight, they have to be the same size. Otherwise, MATLAB is going to have questions that you won't necessarily have answers to. Typically, you know, what do you multiply that other number by? Or what do you multiply any of the numbers by? But if it's a one-to-one -one connection like this, then it's easy for MATLAB to figure it out. Okay. 
Now, you don't need to use the dot operator for addition or anything. So if you were trying to do H plus R, that's perfectly legal in, uh, in matrix algebra. H plus R in matrix algebra is going to be 2 plus 7, uh, which is 9, 3 plus 1, uh, 5 plus 4, and 9 plus 7. So that's gonna that'll work in matrix algebra. You do not need to put a dot operator here. You can you can put the dot operator there. It'll work. You just don't need it. The dot operator really you just need it with multiply, divide, and power. You also don't need the dot operator if you're multiplying a matrix by a scalar. So if you're doing something like um, 2 times h, that's going to work without a dot operator, because that's just going to take each element in h, uh, 2, 3, 4, and 7, multiply it by 2. So it'll give you 4, 6, 8, and 14. And that'll work without a dot operator. Again, you can use a dot operator, and it won't change anything. It'll still work, but you don't need it. 